Hey Conquest fans, hope you're having a good day. I'm back with another Dwego miniature and this is the Inferno Automata who's primed in matte black. And we're gonna have some fun with this miniature and this is what's great about these uh, Conquest miniatures. You can do what you want. You know, there is some artwork you can follow along, but nah, do what you want. Ash gray right now, we're gonna do a dry brush here. We are gonna be hitting a whole bunch of parts of the miniature, but it's not a big deal. I mean, what we're gonna do with this is we're having fun with it, right? And uh, pretty much what I'm doing is it makes it look almost like he's like mechanical stone. Um, anyways, uh, yeah, matte white dry brushing now. What we're doing is just for the flames. Here we go working on fire again. It seems to be my demise lately is working on fire. If you've seen the Cerberus video, if you've seen, uh, well, I don't remember which other one, but a whole bunch of them have had fire lately. And to be honest, I suck with fire. <laughs> Lava orange is gonna be our next dry brush here. We're gonna be going on top of that white. Uh, just to make it pop even more, make it more like a flame. So we're going from the brighter to the darker. Uh, and again, you can do what you want with these miniatures. Uh, I've actually seen someone use all turbo dork paints and just paint the entire thing with that. Borealis green. We're using a green stuff world color shift metal right now. We're doing this on his like knee pads and those big shoulder pads. Now what's cool is if you take a look at my... Uh, what was it my live stream which will be popping up right now in the corner you can take a look at that video as well uh you'll see what i do when i paint up another one of these guys with a different one of these green shift uh, green stuff world color shift metals and what's cool is when you hit the dark color like the black you'll get a different color than when you hit the light gray that's been on there now you could repaint all those areas with black you could even put a varnish like a glossy varnish or you could use a glossy black primer and it'll really pop but you know just do what you want and you can see it really does a cool effect it almost looks like old stone with a metallic event we're using some mars red now uh this is for like whatever you want you can do some eyes you got all these areas where it's like there's flames coming out or it's like a hot stove or whatever so they got the eyes of the skulls we got uh, like these things are so cool these inferno automatas uh they're gonna look so menacing on the table i can't wait to finish my entire army of Dwego. Uh, and if you haven't seen any of those yet uh, take a look at the playlist also as well uh, i have a few of them already painted up on the channel and if you're new to the channel like 80 percent of you are and you're watching my videos hit that subscribe button all right super appreciated we're on our way to a thousand subscribers this is gonna be great um now we're also dry brushing the flames again with this mars red just again just to get the edges and make it more like a flame. Now we're pretty much covering the entire miniature with some known oil, just trying not to get any on that color shift metallic because it'll really dull it down. So try not to touch that. But anywhere else, all on this miniature, and you're gonna see it gives like a really cool stone-like look, almost like as if it's been through dust or ash. And the base is pretty much just a bunch of like, uh, some texture paints and some dry brushing and then some snow to go along I'm making all my Dwegum as if they're in snow, which is I don't know why I just decided to do that And there you have it folks the Inferno Automata is painted and ready for the table I want to thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoy and we'll see you all in the next one